So last game he started with a down tilt. I wanted to call it out this time because he started laughing out with a down tilt. He loves starting off with a down tilt. Roll there's an accident. And then I tried to I think I tried to drill grab and then I got the light shield. I could just shine here though. He's not gonna get the ACI down out of Well, how does ACI down alpha shine work? Yeah. I don't like these situations. I feel like I get called in these situations way too many times. And I think it's because I'm jumping. I should really just be dashing. I think, like, you're... If I could, like, point out one theme, it's that, like, you feel like you really need to, like, go all the way in. Like, I think yeah. it's good to go in. Uh, I think you need to mix, like, going half go in and then fully going in. Yeah, I don't know why I'm in this spot in the first place. Like, I don't know why like, I, I think if you jump that. in place, it's pretty good. Because Zane is expecting you to go all the way in. I need a light shield here. That's just something I need to start doing. Maybe. Probably so. I thought Bia here might actually have gotten me away. I missed my little chance, so that's fine. Good by him. I didn't want to up tilt because of the percent. I didn't think I was going to get actually. I didn't think I'd get like any type of kill off of it. I guess I could have though. Should be dead here, yeah. Full jump there goes to ledge. If he has high bees, he just dies. Jesus Christ, he fucking. Good for him. Yeah, that's just a hard outplay by him. Yeah, yeah, that was just really good. He's waiting for spot dodge again. I'm not spot dodging. I don't know what happened there. There we go, I actually got a ledge cancel. This was a missed kill. I, I actually had an easy kill here. Not an easy kill, but... Uh, running JC Shine, I think, ends him. Yeah, running JC Shine definitely ends him. He should've been dead. I should do neutral get up? Yeah. Wave Shine probably was better. Under over 100 neutral getup is actually so fucking good against Marth. I I uh, it just covers way more options. Pretty smash that in. Nice. I probably said be here. Yeah. That was good coverage by him. I love that shield poke. I try to CC. I should get an up tilt. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get fucked up. I did that way too early. Are you fucking kidding me? And then I want to get the fucking up smash kill immediately. I'm trying to force my way in. Good shit. Okay, well, that was better. That was... Yeah, you know. Good grab jabs. What the fuck, man? I, I, try, I think I tried... I think I got jab instead of grab. That's actually happened a few times. Yeah. I definitely was trying to grab there. You fucking cheeser. <laughs> you should be dead here, yeah. Do you like BMW? I love BMW. Wider stage, I don't mind going to ledge, especially because there's a platform. I guess I'm trying to turn around. A shield. I'm not going to side be here now. That was really good by him. I might be able to fastball shine him, actually. Yeah, he should be dead here. Shine immediately might have killed, but he, hold, but if he holds it, I'm back here. Shine if he holds out, he's dead, I'm pretty sure. Good. Oh, that pains me. Uh, what I should have done here is forward air instead of nair. Yeah, I, I definitely should have done forward air instead of nair there. So over extension and combo. Bad combo tree. I could have done forward air into up tilt, which could have led me to either like a reverse weak nair, reverse fair into up smash, or it could have led me to an up air into a shark. Hold out. I'd probably go for like a reverse bear. Alternatively, I could have shine sold for longer. That, why does that hit me, though? Yeah, there's, like, a weird hitbox with Mark's legs. Oh, my God. I'm dead for that, too, and he trades. He's so good at that. So that was a slight overextension to punish game. Most of my kills, I do think, come from, like, massive overextensions. Or not massive, but, like, he... Oh, he... Your kills or Zane's kills? Zane's kills. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, see how I was just kind of like dash in and center stage? And he tried reading a jump. I still will occasionally jump because I have to. I try to grab. Okay, so I need to practice fucking drill grab, clearly. Uh, I think I should have just up tilted there. I did this I did this back here twice. I think I should just go for the up tilt. Especially on a tri plat. On stadium, I get not going for the up tilt. Here, I should go for the up tilt. Yeah. The one thing that became very apparent for me to practice is to practice like simple fair dash bats. Yeah. Oh, he actually called that out loud. That's just a hard call out. So far, punish team looks fine. I have some more extension. That's just gonna happen to do that. That's fine. I think on Battlefield, I could be more liberal in going to ledge show just because of platforms. And the platform height's a lot harder to shark from. That was a great call out by him. Uh, what the fuck happened here? He just called me out running in. Should I? Okay. Is, there, is there a distance that this keeps happening from? I, I just think it's it, it's not necessarily a distance thing. I think it's when you're at a frame disadvantage. Interesting. Like, I, I've always felt that it was from... Like, like right there. Know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, it was like yeah, you were slightly like at a frame disadvantage, and it feels like... There's like a chance you could get it, and I think that's what gets you the most. Whereas right there, I think that's better, because even if I was not in a great spot, I at least like faked it first. Yeah. I lost the interaction, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't even know why I'll put the air. Like, why, why, what, what am I thinking? This is basically like the same thing as spa dodging, which everyone's yeah. looking for. Okay. I gotta get a slide up there. Before. He thought I think he thought I would jump out. That sucks. This was a terrible laser land by me. Yeah, I, I was on the ledge for way too long, and then I got shield poked. He really is catching me a lot in disadvantage shade. Maybe I should try to disengage a lot more. I don't think so. Basically, that's like my big thing that I'm identifying right now is that like every time it feels like you're like not a significant frame advantage, but a slight frame disadvantage. It feels like you need to go all the way in when i think you could be mixing up going slightly all the way in and not like you know that's something mako's really good at mm -hmm. and i think it could possibly also apply when you're at a slight advantage too that one i don't see i'm well. actually really good at doing it when i when i'm in a slight advantage i'm usually very good at doing it, it might be when i'm feeling pressure that i hit that i feel the like a necessity like i feel i like i have to do it yeah, and the thing is, like, this isn't a new issue for you. Like, I think you know this. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it becomes like a question of like, do you recognize when you're in that state? Yeah, I don't think I do. Right, and I think that's something I think to take away from this is that I think the practice you should like kind of be aware of is like practice knowing whenever you are feeling that way. Yeah, yeah. It's not about you already know the right answers. It's just about like recognizing it on time. Oh, I didn't get that. It's crazy. I have to light shield on this platform, dude. Like, I want the shield drop so badly, but it's just so not worth it. I get hit for it so much. And this was actually exactly... It wasn't exactly that, but he basically thought I was going to run in immediately. I waited a split second I get an opening for it. I don't know why I nair... Well, actually, I do know why I nair Tucker Angle. Do I back throw here? No, I don't expect it. Oh, I need to jump shine this. Yeah, shine would have definitely killed. Yeah, yeah. Shine. Oh. I just have to expect that air dodge once in a while. This is also another problem Especially I have. It's like I missed, I missed a confirm right here off the jab, and I'm like, oh, I gotta run in and do it again. When I know he's just gonna try to defend himself. That was better. I didn't get the punish, but I like it still. I need I need to try to match him more, like just straight up. Oh wow, he actually hit that. That's crazy. I sure made sure.
I try to dash out of range of that so hard. I cannot believe I was able to, he let me overshoot him that hard. <laughs> well, this is actually his fault because he should have known better than to like be that close to ledge against me. Like when you're that close to ledge against me, you have a very high chance of getting ledge dash. Maybe he wasn't respecting because of like missing yeah. first one. This I also need better. I really need to call him out more when he's coming down because I let him get late fair way too much. Yeah, like this is like a classic whip punish. Yeah, but I try to whip punish and then I let him get late fair and it's because it's really hard to punish late fair. So I have to like directly hit him more. Zane, if you're watching this for notes when we play, you're a bitch. If not, I love you. That's supposed to be a drill, it's not to be a quarter. I can't do that before 54%. I don't know why I keep doing it. He's gonna try to be. Yeah. He has no other option there. Go high, and then he's gonna get. I got to the ground. I get one more chance. Probably gonna go down here. Oh no, I didn't. I feel like I just missed a notch. I almost always try to go down there. I tried to shine turn around. Yeah, you're dead with that. Much better with punish. No STF for you. Get away from him. Overshoot to the corner. Good. I ain't gonna run this scenario. Take away. He can't punish it. He gets a down tilt. I'm completely fine with that. That's the worst. Did I have a kill here? I should be looking at that closer. Should have just went to ledge first. Yeah, I should have 100% went to ledge. What am I doing? Yeah, I just wanted a safe like kill on his upbeat, but he wasn't going to panic because there was no reason for him to. Even this, I felt like I took a few too many risks here. Like that grab was shitty. So, I'm not super happy with it. I think I already have a couple of things to say, but if you want to like look at a couple more, games. I just want to watch the FD game and then I'm down. Yeah. Okay. FD, I've had a few. I've had a few problems. I've had a few problems with him on FD recently. He completely changed how he plays on the stage. I'm hopefully he does it here. You see, you'll see so much more dash dancing. It's so obnoxious. That was just a shitty spot. That was just no reason. Why am I even in the corner at this point? Well, I messed up my tech skill and then I have to force a double jump. Okay, so that's just. I put myself in a bad spot and then I fucked up. And I missed a wave shine. Nice, he, he also waited. I'm so mad he's been disrespecting Lush Ash recently. Like, sometimes it works out, but a lot of times it's not. I'm, like, very confused why he keeps doing it. Well, he does it in the sets we play, too. Sets? No. Yeah. Maybe because he thinks he knows you will mess it up and turn him in. I don't know. Well, I guess I have to work on that, then. I try to get the fucking thing where it's like you get hit and you slide off. That never works on him. I need to like remove this. If, if he's mistech, I need to just straight up up smash him. He never get hit. He never gets hit by the jello smash anymore. That was just really creepy. And also again, frame disadvantage. Classic jab, March. I probably could try trying grabbing that more. Yeah, it's way better to try grab. I tried it. <laughs> why, 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 why? Nair, nair, down tilt. Running in. Why didn't I do anything? Why did I just run at him? Like, I should have been able to confirm that he jumped, but I didn't do anything. And I don't know why. Maybe I was trying to CC, but you can't really CC that I hit him there. I 
Can't do that. I told so many Fox dude, don't just CC down till the low percent. Uh, he just, he's super fucked up. He just bury you. He's a dumbass, that's why. <laughs> he tends to uh, simplify it, so. That was supposed to be, okay, this was supposed to be the up tilt, which would have 100% worked. I just somehow got jump, which sucks. But he would have gotten hit by it. I should have missed ever so slightly. Yeah, okay. What were your thoughts? Yeah, so, like, this is something that I kind of just noticed from you overall, and, like, seeing, like, your progression as a player. Uh, like, I remember, like, in some sets that you play as Zane, you would, like, complain how, like, uh, man, what am I going to get over these, like, game five chokes, you know? Mm. When am I gonna get over this? Like, do you feel like you even got over that? Um, I feel like I have a better understanding for why they happen, and they we've had days where I definitely got over them, but it's not like a oh one day it's just magically over. It's like it's a consistent process that you have to work through. Yeah, right. And you know, when you are at, I feel like definitely probably like your biggest issue right now versus Zane, and maybe against like a lot of other players in general too is like. Your tendency to just go all the way in yeah I disadvantage. and like i think you already know like we already know the logical solutions to this and all but what about what you're feeling like what are you feeling whenever you feel that you're put in those spots pretty sure i'm just scared uh pretty sure it's all rooted in fear where it's like oh fuck like this is a scary situation i like need to hit him to like make it like i don't want to feel at a disadvantage state for an entire time and like a lot of what I, in my opinion, a lot of what melee is, it's like kind of, you know, there's a reason why people like Mango say that melee is ninety percent about mentality. He's really yeah. good at awareness, like whatever he's feeling, and yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah. developed so much, like strategies to kind of overcome such things. And I think the very first step is like try just to even recognize it in the first, because it's kind of useless if you recognize it afterwards. Like that doesn't do anything. Yeah, yeah of course. Recognizing it in the moment is the first step, and you might kind of realize some steps along the way. But I always say that's like the first step is to recognize like what are you even feeling? Why are you doing this? When we're playing a lot of sets, I'm usually able to do it. Like when we were playing sets like every single day about a month ago, I started beating him in sets, uh, like pretty much in my favor every single time we did them. And every single time it was last stack, I was able to tell myself like stay grounded, don't overextend, chill, play, etc. Uh. I think for me, it's definitely like a mindset thing where I have to be like in shape to do it. And it's not, it's definitely not like my base brain. Like, I don't think anyone can just shift the way their like base brain works, but yes. you, you can definitely have the, you can practice things. It's like, it's like a muscle almost that is just not worked out right now. Cause I haven't been working it out. I always say that like, you can't change how you immediately feel about things. Mm -hmm. um, however, you can kind of control what you can do about it. Yeah, exactly. That, I feel the same way. And like, I think the like the really good part about recognizing your emotions in the moment is that you're already exercising some kind of control by yep. like recognizing it. And I know like you're like you're you're kind of open about like mental health stuff, right? Yeah, so yeah, like, absolutely. I'm sure you have some mentors where like you could talk about this, out and uh, they could probably give you some good suggestions. I I think like I don't know <laughs> if you like like you know actively do exercises where like. Yeah, this is why I feel whenever I'm put into a state, and this these are like the counter strategies I'll do in order to not like do that same bad thing over and again. Mm -hmm. And I don't think the solution, by the way, is to like play defensively. I think it's like playing to your strengths. No, I think it's just being disciplined. I think it's just you have to. I just have to exercise discipline. Like that's all I want to be doing. I don't want to try to be like, oh, I need to play like hyper defense, but I'm telling myself to stay grounded. It's not dash chance camp him. It's just dash chance and watch. If there's an opening, like don't question it. Go for it. But don't force yeah, it. And opening. I think it's really good to like fake your openings too. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, which like I don't mean, like to be honest, like actually being aggressive out disadvantage isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's it is a bad thing. It's a mix up. Just, yeah. It's like, a genuine mix up. It depends on how you're feeling. Right. And it's like there, like there are times where even here when I do it ninety percent of the time, it does work. It's not like it never yeah. works. Yeah, and it's like but that's the thing is that I predict that you'll do it and mm. the way to counter that prediction isn't by like camping, it's by like faking it making it look like you yeah will. you have to faint it it's like you have to give them what they what they think they're going to see 
they're like, oh, I can confirm this is where it's going to be, and then I don't do it, and then I have to figure out what option they're going to do after, and then I punish it. Yeah. And we I mean, just, like, you already it. know this. Yeah. You already know all this. I'm just simply explaining for anyone and else. I, 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 mean, I mean, it's still fairly nice just to, like, re reiterate it. I think even for anyone, it's always nice to reiterate this stuff. Yeah. And uh, I, I just think, like, the next big step for you is, like, kind of recognizing those odds. Because you're already very, you're, like, a great player. You're an amazing player. It's just, like, it's all about the head. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, I 100% and, uh, agree. I think that's, like, far more important for you to practice than uh, than anything else at the moment. I, I, I do agree. think that's probably your, your biggest roadblock of you not winning Smash 4 Tour. Yeah. I 1,000% I agree. Be, uh, skill wise, there is really not much of a gap anymore in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's maybe he's slightly favored, maybe he's not, but it, like I could win any set I play against him at this point. That was not the case six months ago or a year ago. Yeah, I, I agree. And uh, yeah, it's up to you to uh, step up and be all like, this is something that I'll work on, this is something that I'll actively try to work. I do want to for, specifically figure for out. my favor. And like you know, my strategy is definitely like kind of uh, identifying it and kind of just riding through the wave, you know. Just yeah. Like telling yeah. like, like why I play the game is like usually what does it for me and what I tell others. But like mm -hmm. you probably have your own strategies.